James Mattis is sworn in as the new Secretary of Defense, and the 15th MU deploys on the USS America, this week on The Core Report. The USS America is going on its first overseas operational deployment. The largest ever U.S. Navy amphibious assault ship will host the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit. The 15th MU will fly new aircraft combinations during the pre-deployment training, like operating additional CH-53E Super Stallions, UH-1Y Hueys, and AV-8B Harriers. On-ship F-35 operations are expected next year. The USS America was purposefully designed without a well deck to maximize space for aircraft fuel, repairs, and capabilities. The ship can sustain more aircraft missions than the entire existing Navy's fleet of amphibious assault ships. The commander of the 15th MU, Colonel Joseph Clearfield, commented on the deployment's capabilities. We'll be ready to provide the fleet and the combatant commanders this really unique amphibious task force that is ready to respond to any crisis or any contingency around the whole range of military operations. The America Amphibious Ready Group and the 15th MU will push the USS America's flexibility and unique capabilities during maritime exercises. The training ensures the Expeditionary Force is ready to use the USS America to its maximum potential. Retired Marine General James Mattis was sworn in as the Secretary of Defense on January 20, 2017. In his first message to the Department of Defense, the Secretary of Defense said, You represent an America that is committed to the common good, an America that is never complacent about defending its freedoms, and an America that remains a steady beacon of hope for all mankind. In his 44 years of active duty, General Mattis led an assault battalion in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm, an expeditionary brigade in Afghanistan after 9-11, a Marine division in the initial attacks in Operation Iraqi Freedom, served as the commander of U.S. Marine Forces Central Command, which put him in charge of all Marine activity in the Middle East, and then continued to become the commander of all 200,000 service members in the Middle East as the commanding general of U.S. Central Command. Mattis said his plans as the 26th Secretary of Defense are to strengthen relationships with U.S. allies, increase military readiness, and bring business reforms to the Department of Defense. Severe weather affected Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany, Georgia, and Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California. A tornado touched down at Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany Sunday afternoon on January 22nd. Marine Depot Maintenance Command facilities were extensively damaged. The tornado also knocked out power throughout the base. No personnel were injured on base during the storm. On Sunday evening, Colonel James Carroll, commanding officer for Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany, said, Our team is aggressively working with our tenant and supported commands to restore the installation to normal operations. Last week's heavy rainfall caused flooding throughout Camp Pendleton on January 20th and 21st. The flooding caused traffic delays and road closures on base. In the county and surrounding area, the storms caused mudslides, power outages, and toppled trees. People were rescued from stalled and half-submerged vehicles Friday afternoon. According to San Diego Gas and Electric, about 35,000 homes and businesses were affected by power outages. That's all for this week on The Core Report.